Hey, uh, it's been a while since I've done this, um, but I wanted to give you another update and to give you some information that you could really use uh, for your Excel spreadsheets. One of the cool things that you can do with Excel spreadsheets is called freezing panes. And I'll show you how that works. We'll open up an Excel spreadsheet here. And if you'll notice, there's several different fields across the top. Market, name, manufacturer, model, type, family, series. You can scroll all the way across here. The other thing you can actually do is scroll down as well. Well, I really want to keep track of which, if, if it's model, family, series, serial number, I want to be able to see what those mean. So, for instance, model versus family is different. Well, I can't remember which one it is by the time I get to the 57th one in the list. So what you can actually do is freeze the pane. What you do is if you wanted to freeze only the top pane, highlight column 2, go to window, and click freeze panes. That freezes everything above what you highlighted. Do you see how that stays put? The other option is to highlight just a w one column. For instance, if I highlighted column B and I fro froze the panes there, it would do the same thing. But the benefit of highlighting just one cell instead of an entire row is this. When I freeze the pane, not only now, if you see the little cross, not only can I go up and down, but let's say I want to scroll right and left. Well, I know Shreveport's the market, so I'm going to unfreeze the pane and move it here. And this time, when I freeze the pane, I can keep the name of the machine on one side as I fill them out, and the hard drive in the processor in the top row, basically. So you can change which field or cell is frozen based on uh, which one you select. Like I said, if you wanted to highlight a whole column and you wanted to freeze the pane for that, you can do that and it will stay put. Everything before that column will stay frozen. If you only want to do a row, you can highlight the row, unfreeze the pane, and then freeze them again. And that row will stay frozen. If you want to do a column and a row, highlight only one cell past the column and after the row. And there you go. Good tip for you for your Excel spreadsheets as you're filling them out or perhaps as you're working on them. I'll have some more Excel spreadsheet tips coming up. I uh, hope that helped you.